I'm going to show you how to maintain and repair a leaky sunroof. And what I'm using is weed whacker line and it's 0 0.095, some electronics duster, and a shop vac with a detail attachment so you can get in crevices. So there's drains on each corner of the sunroof and then there's a rubber gasket that goes around the entire sunroof. This is what happens when you don't maintain your sunroof. The car, the lady I bought this car off of was the original owner and because she didn't maintain her sunroof it leaked in the interior, got the carpet all moldy and pretty much left a terrible smell in the car. So I pulled the entire interior out and went through cleaning it so the smell is gone and I'm gonna use a new carpet and interior from my parts car but it had she spent 15 minutes twice a year to maintain the sunroof it probably would have never leaked first thing I'm going to use is the electronics duster and this will help spray out the tracks and the drain holes Now that I blasted the entire track free of any debris, I'm going to use the detail um, small attachment to my shop back to get all, all along the tracks and backing this stuff out. Next thing I'm going to use is the weed whacker line and I'm going to shove this completely through the tube over here now that i gotten the, all the debris broke free and this is going to go all the way down to where it comes out the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
All right, to make sure that I clean this drain correctly and that it's properly draining, I'm gonna pour some water along this uh, catch tray right here and it should all drain out. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back and it should drain out right about here. All right, now that I know it's draining okay, I'm gonna do the back drains as well. The back drains hardly ever get clogged and typically it's your drains that get clogged and it's not your gasket. But over time, this will go bad as well. <clears throat> because I stripped out the interior on this car, I can actually show you what it looks like underneath the sunroof. And there are four drain tubes. Here's the first one on the driver's side. It goes down the driver's side A pillar. And then it comes out underneath the carpet. right here to this hose and then this drains into your rocker panel drain holes and there there it is and there's the passenger side And I can show you what this looks like with the, there's a weed whacker line. <clears throat> so some people do use compressed shop air through here from an air compressor. You can do that, but don't put the line directly in the hole because you will blow this line off, especially if it's clogged. And then you'll have to take the headliner out because it'll completely leak. All right, here is a passenger side drain tube, and it just goes into the rocker panel as well. And this still has the weed whacker cable in it, which is right there. So I'm gonna pull the cable out through the top, and there it goes. So any debris left in here will just be cleaned out. And then for the back drains, and you get to them the same way from the track up top if you don't have the headliner out and you thread the weed whacker line all the way through and it goes into the trunk. I found these back ones hardly ever get clogged. So those ones usually aren't the problem but it's nice to do all four of them every time you clean the sunroof. And this is what the back drain looks like. So usually what I do for the back is I'll pull the hose out and then I'll stick the vacuum cleaner detail piece right in there to suck out any debris. And then for the other side, I'm gonna have to take out the factory Pioneer sub because this is a Chevy Cobalt SS and they all come with the Pioneer sound system, which includes the factory sub. So I'm gonna pull this off and behind that is the same drain tube as on the passenger side. And that is how you maintain and repair your sunroof. Um, all of them are pretty universal. And if you do this twice a year, it avoids having to pull your entire interior and replace the carpet and the padding.
beautiful car. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.